It wasn't the prettiest win here for the Bobcats, a grinded out win to say the least, that resulted in a last second defensive stop to seal the deal. What's going on Bobcat fans, I'm WOUB sports reporter T. Willis here in Peden Stadium where the Bobcats defeated the Howard Bison 38 to 32. The Bobcats came into the game expecting a routine win versus Howard in FCS school. However, that wasn't the case. Nathan Rourke got off to a rough start for the Cats and was subbed for junior quarterback Quentin Maxwell late in the first quarter. Ohio's first touchdown came with less than five minutes left in the second quarter as Maxwell connected with Poppy White for the score. While Ohio struggled in the first half, the Bison offense flourished as they led 22-10 going into the locker room. Quarterback Kalen Newton showed everyone just why he was selected the MEAC Rookie of the Year last season as he lit up the Ohio defense. Newton threw for a whopping 439 yards and three touchdowns and ran one in himself. His primary target during the game was Jaquez Ezard, who had eight catches for 233 yards and a score. Coming into the second half, the Bobcats made big momentum plays, scoring 14 points within the first minute and 37 seconds of the half. Quentin Maxwell and Poppy White carried the way to the Cats' offense throughout the second half. The receiver had a career-high day as he boasted 154 receiving yards on eight catches. The Bison, however, would not go away. It came down to a game-saving interception by Elias Motley in the final seconds of the fourth for Ohio to survive. Uh, I don't think anybody was happy in, in the locker room, you know, and so it, it was a, a matter of just getting our composure back and, and uh, you know, just playing the way we're capable of playing. The Bobcats have a bye week before traveling to Virginia to take on the Cavaliers on September 15th. For WOUB Sports, I'm T. Willis.